It's currently clear in 73 degrees in Los Angeles. We're used to asking our phone for the forecast or directions to where we're going. And if you want the news, just ask Alexa. Love of a storm, Nate, still growing. How is it happening? It's something called artificial intelligence, AI for short, and it's already a part of our everyday lives. Humans have created it. Right? So it's artificial in that sense. Um, it's, so it's non-biologic. It also, it's, it's autonomous. That's the, the intelligence part is it can do things on its own. It can make its own decisions. AI expert William Welzer says with more and more algorithms to work with, AI just keeps getting smarter. Oftentimes humans, uh, us, we, we don't know it. Um, so we maybe think that we're dealing with another human and in fact we're dealing with a machine. AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. Tech giants like Elon Musk predict gloom and doom with robots replacing factory workers and self-driving cars replacing human drivers resulting in widespread unemployment. According to a brand new Pew Research poll, nearly two-thirds of Americans expect to struggle to find work in a world that could be filled with robots. But surprisingly, only 30% believe their own job is at risk. When asked what jobs people believe are most at risk, fast food and insurance workers topped the list. Just last week, the Los Angeles Economic Development Council held a forum on how to train employers and employees to adapt to a new world. Artificial intelligence will not uh, manage itself, will not serve itself. Um, humans will still be needed. Um, to program, um, to create programs, uh, to repair, to manage, to protect these systems. And at the University of Southern California, a new institute to study artificial intelligence has students delving into the good it can do to address issues like security, health, and homelessness. In Los Angeles, with the homeless shelters here, we are running AI algorithms in order to spread information about HIV by figuring out who are the right peer leaders, the right messengers to spread information more quickly. Still, the debate over the pros and cons of AI will continue. Experts in the field say with so many big issues facing our world, why wouldn't we just ask a robot for help? Clearly, we haven't solved these problems as human beings. Perhaps AI can help us in solving these problems. For the next revolution, Anita Vogel, Fox News.